All right. Um, tomorrow is July 4th. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, how many months have you been here now? Uh, Living here? Three months. Three months. Yeah. Any surprises? What are you expected or? <laughs> um, well, nothing's ever usually what I expect. <laughs> uh, I I think I I've mentioned that <clears throat> that. Um, Obviously, I mentioned it to you that that I uh, obviously thought it was going to be a girl's place that I was born <laughs> into. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, I don't know. That's a tough question. Well, maybe, maybe we'll revisit it another time. Yeah. You know, but it's going well. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. Good. Yeah. Um, Tell me, tell me something. Um, tell me something that you don't want to happen. Something that I don't, you don't want to happen. Hmm. That's a good question. <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, don't want to happen. I mean, obviously, everything uh, is, you know, there's nothing in our control. Yeah, But, yeah, yeah. you know, there's, there's, let's, you know, hypothetically, let's say, you know, what what is something that you don't want to happen? Obviously, I don't. I mean, I I don't want to relapse, but I mean, I don't even. Um, I don't think about that like I used to think about it. Um, wrote a lot about it, and you know that was one of my biggest fears. Um, you know, is it my biggest fear now? No. You know, because kind of like what what I said last time was that, um, you know, I think that if I focus more on not relapsing, then that's probably when it'll happen. Um, you know, I think as long as I just keep doing the right thing or things, um, that, uh, you know, I'll be alright with that, um, I mean, this, like, it's, it's a very broad, <laughs> very broad question, what I don't want to happen. Yeah, there's, um, you know, anything, anything, um, you know. I, what I don't want is, um, Go the wrong way. Um, what I don't want is people to feel like um, that I can't control that. <laughs> I don't want this to come <clears throat> any of these things to come across as like the wrong way. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to. <clears throat> people to misconstrue or, or construe, construe, whatever, um, like what I'm saying or, um, you know, that I am, uh, that I'm hurting or whatever, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, I just want people to continue to do what they're going to do regardless. Um, you know, and, uh, hopefully for the best, 
you know, um, if anything can reach somebody that is in a similar situation, you know, um, someone that can take something that I say or something that they can relate to that I say and it'll, it'll help them whatever come to some sort of realization that maybe some part of their life is out of whack or whatever and they may take a look at it in a different angle you know saying oh yeah I remember that or um, which I think is a lot of like what you know going through the whole the whole recovery program is kind of like a lot of self-reflection and and it's a lot of um, you know looking at who you were and who you you know what you did and what you how you treated people and all, so on and so forth and, and and then being able to look at that like in a different light and say okay that is not who I want to be anymore that's not the person I was meant to be or um, that's not the person God intended me to be. Um, you know, uh, I think I kind of always felt that anyways. That I knew the shit that I was doing that was wrong. You know, I always had that, that gut feeling of, ah, don't do this. You know, don't do whatever it is that's, you know, um, not right, but then, you know, just going ahead and doing it anyways, you know, that's, the, um, I think that was the messed up part of always knowing that what I was doing was not the right thing to be doing, um, but then still doing it anyways, um, regardless of the outcome, regardless of anything, really, with zero regard sometimes, um, so if I was hurting somebody or hurting others or um, or not being true to myself, you know, um, which I still don't really know what that is, you know, am I being true to myself now, you know, that's just another thing that kind of, I'd probably think about that, not as much as I used to, but definitely still think about it, you know, um, you know, that's pretty much it, I think. Mm -hmm. So, how about what is something that you do want? Something I do want. Oh. Um, something I do want is to um, like shed light on the whole kind of shed light on the whole thing of addicts and alcoholics and stuff like that where um, I know myself growing up I always thought of alcoholics and you know drug addicts you know heroin addicts or um, cocaine addicts or whatever people who did hard drugs um, as people that were just you know people I didn't want to associate with people that I wanted nothing to do with um, and by no means, you know, thought I was that, in that category of people, you know, always thought of myself as long as I just drank, as long as I just, you know, smoke a little pot, or a lot of pot, um, in some cases, um, that as long as I just stuck to doing very minimal, like, recreational type drugs, but not use them in a recreational way um, that I was always okay or that I was maybe better than those who did use hardcore drugs so that well at least I'm not as um, you know at least I'm better off than that guy or at least I'm not as messed up as that guy is you know I'm not living on the streets I'm not um, sleeping in my car I'm not um, homeless, even though I was almost for a little bit, um, even though I was almost, that's kind of, uh, doesn't make sense, um, you know, and, and, and I think over time, 
I basically learned that it didn't matter if whether I was successful and had a job all the time or most of the time and went to work most of the time um, that more or less my disease was the same as a heroin addict or someone who's addicted to cocaine or someone who's addicted to hardcore drugs um, you know I always guys always joke with me um, either when I was in the house or in rehab or whatever they would say oh well they're like it's funny that you say that because you're worse off than we are and you know and I would kind of laugh at that um, not really knowing what it meant um, you know, I still kind of don't, I don't think, you know, I mean, I still think everybody's different in their addictions, their addictions take them different places, you know, addiction to food or, or clothing or shoes or, you know, whatever, materialistic things, things that are looking to fix you, your inside because you don't feel good about yourself on the inside, um, it really doesn't matter um, just because you're either sticking a needle in your arm or drinking or spending a shitload of money um, you're still looking for that void to fill that void that um, that you're missing um, you know and I blamed a lot of <clears throat> a lot of people a lot of circumstances um, in my life <clears throat> For, you know a, a reason to drink um, you know but I think once after a period of time it was just you know it just it became I don't need to drink because of that I drink because I need to drink um, to feel good about myself period um, to feel okay with myself to feel okay with um, being in a crowd of people um, or being around girls or good looking girls or, or just you know anything that made me uncomfortable you know I needed to take something to get myself outside of myself um, and you know obviously doing drugs and, and, and drinking was the way to do that you know you don't have to you know it kind of lets down that guard that you put up or that wall you put up you know I was a lot more friendly, I think, you know, some, a lot of people might disagree, um, friends of mine that might disagree, you know, that they say, oh, he was a great guy when he was sober, you know, for those 10 years or whatever, um, you know, so they don't know where that's coming from, but, you know, they haven't walked a mile in my shoes, um, they don't know everything about my life, um, you know, <clears throat> and that's pretty much in a nutshell. Um, so I just, what I want to get, or what I want out of this is, you know, to just shed light on that, that, you know, that not every, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, you know, it's so much easier said than done, um, but it's so true, you know, you don't know if that doctor you're going to is an opioid addict, you don't know if he's a coke addict, you don't know if he's an alcoholic, but you still go to him because he's a doctor. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, a lawyer, or homeless. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, some people have it, some people don't. You don't. You know, I'm kind of jealous of that. Definitely jealous, in, you know, in some ways. Of normal people um, but you know whatever that's just the way it is that's life <clears throat> that's life you know it is what it is